latest weather update here is that Hurricane Sandy is more than 200 miles off the coast. It's about to crash into two other systems before it makes landfall. One of the most common things that I heard people in the community say is how beautiful the marsh was uh, before. And they were just looking forward to it being beautiful again. My name is Paul Parkinson. I'm a construction manager. Prime Hook Wildlife Refuge is a tidal marsh, which means that there is fresh water that flows and there's also a tide with salt water that comes into the marsh where unique plant species and animal species will thrive. It's a 10,000 acre wildlife refuge. People come to watch birds and, and see various aspects of nature. In the early 2000s, a series of storms came through there was basically a channel opened up from the bay into the marsh and inundated the whole marsh with salt water. And the result of that was all the species and plants that were freshwater that had begun to thrive suddenly died. After Hurricane Sandy, Fish and Wildlife was faced with a decision to either keep the marsh as a freshwater controlled marsh or to let it return to its natural state. So that kind of was the reason that they uh, chose to go forward with this project the way that they did in building a resilient marsh rather than just putting a Band-Aid on a problem. One of the biggest challenges was all the unknown unknowns. So you don't know what you're getting into as we would go on to find out. We cut 21 miles of channels through the marsh ranging from 50 feet to 30 feet wide and that allowed the water to move through the channels and then where the breach was on the back barrier of that we put in 400,000 plants. By the time we got to the spring of the next year there were already species that were returning in higher numbers than the Fish and Wildlife Service had seen in years. If you don't think about a solution with ingenuity, you're doing the project a disservice. We had days where we were moving the dredge forward 600 feet, and we had other days where we didn't even get 50 feet. We were having problems with nozzles wearing out. So we talked to this fireman and he was like, we have this problem with water. What you do is you keep the nozzle as wide as possible, as long as possible. And then just over the last several inches, you narrow it down to that three inch diameter. And as soon as we did that, it cut the need to replace nozzles tremendously. So just little moments like that can make a big difference. A really cool thing is to, to be part of the community up here. I would go into uh, some of the local restaurants and have a conversation and they'd always ask me what we were doing and why we were doing it but mostly they were very supportive and very thankful that we were there and that's part of the reason that we did this project is because we wanted to make this wildlife refuge in the surrounding community a better place there is a sense of pride when i come back to prime hook and if i'm within 50 miles of here, you know, I'm very likely to go out of my way just to look at the marsh and see how it's doing. It's a special feeling.